everyone, my name is Lucy Noel, and welcome to my furry friend tag. Bud, don't run away from me. Okay, so first question is, what is your pet's name? It actually started out as um, Mr. Pricklepants from Toy Story, because when he was little, he was so cute. He looked like a little porcupine. And then he ended up being um, Buddy, like one of those like adventure buddy um, movies. And I don't know, he was just kind of like a buddy, because like, He's my buddy, he's my friend, and like, he follows me around sometimes. And, um, also with Buddy, I don't know why, but I call him Butters, too, so that's also his name. Um, what kind of pet is it, and what breed? He is a dog, and he is, um, Pomeranian. <clears throat> he's very yippy. Um, how long have you had your pet friend? I've had him for, um, it'll be five years. I think December 3rd because you know he magically appeared on um, December 3rd 2011 when we went to a Muppet show lol um who what are some quirky things about your pet's personality he hates fire alarms he will start like rampantly barking at the fire alarm because he thinks that we're all in danger he's very protective actually um I had a friend who was pretending to hurt me, like, you know, like they weren't going to hurt me, but he like straight up went after them and protected me. And that's absolutely amazing that he's such a little protective little fella. And also there was one day where I was just like crying really bad and he was there for me. So he was just like very, I don't know, he's very protective of me. And so that's like a, um, something like very particular about Buddy and then also um oh my god with his sweater he okay so you notice that he has a sweater on right so he always needs to have a sweater because he gets he has like anxiety problems and so um with his sweater he feels like better so if I try to take it off of him Actually, I think it's just kind of on him now. I don't know if I can take it off of him, but like if I do take it off of him, he'll start to like try to get it back from me. And um, sometimes uh, we also have his old sweater that we replaced that one with this one with, and sometimes he'll just randomly bring it to bed and sleep with it. I don't know what it is with him and sweaters, but he loves them. And um, I think they make him like more calm and collected, even though he's like crazy. <laughs> Oh well, um, what does your relationship with your pet mean to you? My relationship with Butters means so much to me. He's been there throughout all, of, pretty much all of high school and um, I don't know, he's just very special to me and since um, our whole crazy moving thing last year, we've grown really like extra close to each other and with him like I just feel like this special connection with him and it's beautiful that you can really feel like a special connection with an animal you know and he's just very he's very special to me I love him so much he feels very nice with his little fur he's very protective of me he's very sweet and he's very loving um what are some of your favorite pastimes with your pet? Actually, um, if you see on some of my older YouTube videos, you'll see like me and Bud at the beach, and it was like this dog beach in, in Huntington, and um, I don't know, it's something that I will always treasure. Um, and also like, um, I've been through like animal deaths before because I um, we used to foster kittens and stuff and there was a whole litter that ended up dying pretty much well, except for one cat but like it that was extremely devastating and I've never been through a, um, a death of an animal that I actually had for a while so if Bud passes on someday which will be really really sad I will always have that to treasure that with and I'll have these little sweaters and the memories that I have with him and it's really sad to think that um, animals aren't here forever, you know what I mean? And it's gonna make me cry if I talk too much about it, but it's just like, animals are such a beautiful addition to life, you know what I mean? And especially like with dogs, like they're really like compassionate animals. And um, 
I don't know, I love having dogs with me, and I can't imagine a life without having an animal, you know what I mean? Because, like, there's just something so special about them. They're better than people. <laughs> well, like, they're more, I feel like sometimes they're, like, more reliable, and they're there for you more than a lot of people will be. And, um, I don't know, he's helped me feel so much better in, um, times where I've just felt so low, and I really appreciate him for that. Um... What are nicknames that you call your pet? Oh my god, I have too many. So there's, um, Mr. Prickle Pants, Buddy, Butters, Bubbub, Bud, um, Bubbles. Oh my god, I call him Bubbles all the time. Um, I don't know if there's anything else I call you other than just those, like, bunch of nicknames. He's so cute, I love him. Did he mess up my lipstick? He's so cute. And also, like, he, like, when he was born, he was, like, the only... It was so weird because both his parents were black. And, like, he's just, like, randomly just, like, fawn and stuff, you know what I mean? And he, I love his little bushy eyebrows, his beautiful little brown eyes, and his such a gorgeous little smile. And, um, let's see. <laughs> he likes his stomach scratch. Ah! I can't mess up my sweater, bud. Okay, so there's something else that's very interesting about Bud's look. So he has like a, a he has like a sense of fashion that sweaters all tore up because like he wears it all the time. He'll get really like really like weird when you take it off. Bud, need to see more of your camera. So like um. I don't know if you guys can still see it, but whenever I dye my hair, we dye a little bit of bud too, because I don't know why, but like, he just tolerates it, and he's like, you know, the color shows up on him, so we'll dye his hair, the hair in his tail blue. Oh, Butters, you're so sweet. And, and also another cute thing about bud too, is that if you like, um, <laughs> Sometimes if you like, if he closes his mouth, will you close your mouth close? Like when he closes his mouth and you like rub his stomach, he'll like show his teeth a little bit, which is really cute. So this is my dog buddy. I'm glad that you guys got to know him and um, if you ever meet him, just know that he doesn't, I don't know why, but he like just can't warm up to people or something. He's just like very like pos like possessive of like me and my mom. He's okay at the dog park and stuff because like I don't know. But yeah, those are my butters. My butters. Alrighty, so this has been a really sweet, fun little tag, and please like, subscribe, comment, and whatever, and we'll see you next time. Say bye, bye, bud. <gasps> bye, bud.